Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Now this particular video I'm making because I'm getting a lot of uh, like messages and comments regarding the result of this SRTP. Uh, so it was not possible for me to text and to like to reply all of you via text. So that's why I'm making this short video to just clear up all the doubts regarding the result. Okay. So those who don't know CSIR SRTP that is Summer Research Training Program which was announced a few days back. Uh, the result has been announced and it's there on the official website okay so you can just check out there i will be posting the link in the description of this video so on the official website when you scroll a little bit down here are the results over here uh, there are two lists actually one is the provisional list of the selected candidates and the other one is provisionally selected candidates for csir and eist johad now uh, both of them are provisional list so let me tell you first of all that uh, what this list is about okay so uh, we'll go for this list first and let's understand this. See, basically, uh, this particular program was organized by CSIR and EIST, right? So, this particular was the organizing institute. Now, this institute was well prepared about it. Uh, it already knew that how and uh, like on what basis they are going to divide the students or in a particular group or in how they are going to uh, manage this, right? So, they were already prepared for this. So, that's why they just made a list for themselves. So this is for those students who while filling their form they have taken an EIST as one of their choices. Okay, so while filling the form if you remember uh, during the registration uh, they were they were asking you to give three uh, institutes right three institutes of your choice three CSIR labs of your choice. So those who have selected CSIR and EIST they are going to like their name would be there in the second list. Okay, so let's open this and see that what actually this list is about so that the things will become a bit clear from there. Okay. So uh, this is the list of uh, the of this CSIR and EIST and this is a provisional list okay so what this provisional list means it means it's not a final list uh, but yeah what does that mean I will tell you okay so don't get confused that uh, these are not selected student, students okay so I'll explain that what actually it is now it is already given that the list will have additions okay and final list will be available shortly after getting consent of the mentor so right now uh, it's only the name of the student and the guardian name which is the, uh, there on the list and the category is there. It's not mentioned that which mentor is assigned to which student. Okay, So that is going to come a little later uh, in, in a few days or in maybe today or tomorrow. Maybe uh, the list will be coming over there on the same website where they are going to provide the final list where they will also assign a mentor for each category or for for the group of students okay now what it is though they have uh, like they have divided students on four categories a b c and d okay you can see over here so you can just search out your name over here there are a lot of pages like 11 pages in this list so these 11 pages students correspond to one institute right now um, what are these categories so let me tell you that category a uh, are going to get all these benefits that is they are going to get popular lectures from eminent scientists, uh, advanced lecture on the selected topics relevant to the project. Uh, they will get online demonstration of sophisticated and analytical instruments and equipment of high value. Okay, so these are the things which which category A students are going to get. Apart from that, they will get individual projects. Remember this: that category A are getting individual projects like assignments, exercises, daily update of the result, and they will have daily interaction with the mentor. Okay, so they will have a daily interaction with the mentor and international rewards on a specific subject area will be also given. Now next is category B. So category B is going to be uh, in which this is going to be common the lecture and all the things will be common to category B also. Apart from that category B will get innovation and science curiosity based joint project. Okay, so this will be a joint project with two students each. So it will be a group of two students which will get a single project and they will get daily update of result and interaction with the mentor twice a week okay so now you can see that category b has a little disadvantage that they will not be able to interact daily uh, like this is the difference between a and b okay now this has been made based upon uh, based upon their criteria that uh, based upon what sop you submitted based upon what academic details you submitted and based upon uh, how your uh, like how your form or the registration form they have analyzed it Category C will also get the same thing that is lectures and all are same apart from that uh, they will get joint project with five students now the group is increasing the size of the group has become five of five students 
and uh, like by conducting several experiments, collecting various samples, intensive analysis of data, daily update of result and once a week interaction with the mentor. Now you can see that with each category the interaction is becoming less and less right and the number of students in a group is increasing. And the last category D it's uh, based upon like the sick, the common thing is about the lectures and all that is common to all of them. Uh, but apart from that they are going to get a bigger group in category D involving 10 to 15 students and based on larger community okay so these are the groups uh, project which are based on larger community so they will be given that kind of project which require a lot of data to be analyzed okay now daily update of result and once a week interaction with the mentor will be given what is common for all of them so the quiz uh, essay writing slogan writing emblem on a theme uh, challenging for writing projects or unique ideas will be rewarded so this this will be basically common for all of them so this is what and this is how category category wise they have decided and they have divided the student okay this is neist uh, one of the csir lab has given its list now let's go back to the result page and see that this is about this okay so now it's quite clear okay if your name is over here you can just see that which um, like uh, which category you belong to and also you can see that uh, like what you have to do okay the mentor will be assigned a little later so that is going to be the final list where the mentor will also be assigned so if your name is in this list it's a high chance that you are selected okay i would say that it's 100 percent that you are selected if your name is in the second list so you are 100 percent selected and you are going to have just the name of the mentor and in a few days that will be revealed and next next you have to just do your training program the other list is this first list for the provisional list of selected candidates now this particular list is based like this particular list contains all those students who have failed like who have selected CSIR labs other than NEIST so those students who were uh, while filling their registration form they just they didn't field NEIST as their one of the prior institute or one of their uh, like uh, the institute of their choice they have selected the other any three institutes so their name is here okay on in this particular list now it's a very big list of 307 pages and around 20 names per page there are a lot of students over here now see they have also given that this is a provisionally selected candidates which have applied through online the final list will be available shortly now what does that mean what i can interpret from here is that uh, that this particular list is basically uh, for all the other csr labs so now neist will interact or will contact to the other csr labs those CSIR lab will tell them ki how they are assigning the mentors, which men mentor they want to assign and how they are going to take students, whether they are going to take in the same way, how NEIST has taken on the basis of the uh, categories, different category of students or like w in what way they are basically going to take it. So that basically is going to be uh, like that is going to be uh, given on the website very soon. Okay. So if your name is there in this list, so there is 90% chance that you are selected. Now, when I'm telling all these things, these are all my opinion, okay, what I can analyze and what I can explain. It's not anything officially clearly written, but huh, you can just analyze from it there that it says that it's a list of provisionally selected candidates for all CSIR labs. The final list will be available shortly. That means uh, that it is possible that if the availability of seat is not there, they might drop few of the students, okay. So, it's just... The, it's just a very rare case that they are going to drop any name but i would th i think that since it's, it's an online course they are going to take all of the students okay it's it's my personal opinion so if your name is in this list uh, there are 90 percent chance that you are selected you just will be assigned with your csr lab and uh, your mentor and that is going to be the final list okay so don't worry about it if your name is there just be happy that yeah you got selected in it Okay, so uh, these were the two things which were very important to explain and which were very important to tell you. So, uh, I guess per page we have uh, we have around 20 names, okay, per page. If I go to the last page, so let me just see that what we are getting at the end. So, there is nothing mentioned as such at the end of the uh, PDF. If you can see, just the names are given. So what I can interpret is this particular list is based upon at what time you have applied to the program and it's not a kind of merit list. That's what I can see over here. Okay. So yeah, 
so i guess now you understood that what these two provisionally provisional list are and what does this provisional means okay so uh, this is very important to clear because many of you were confused about it and you were asking me in the comments and all so i guess now it everything is clear so so if your name is there in the list just be very happy about it just be uh, like just be confident that yeah there is 90% chance that you will be getting selected for this particular uh, program and uh, just enjoy the uh, research training program all right so uh, i guess that whatever doubts you were having that is much clear to you now and i hope that you like this particular video if you like this video give it a like if you are new to this channel do subscribe to the channel i will come very soon with a topic specific video the one which we generally post on our channel also do let me know in the comment sections below that if you have applied and your name is there in and like in any of these list or not because what i think is all of the students who have applied their name is there in any of the list okay uh, so if you have applied and if your name was is not there in any of the list do let me know in the comment section because i just want to know out of curiosity that is there uh, like is there any chance that they have dropped few students uh, on the application and all or they have selected all of the students okay so that is one thing which i just want to make this clear so that's all from my side guys thank you so much for watching and uh, stay safe take care of yourself and bye bye take care